almost feel like I'm wearing a helm. Like I should have a full pseudo armor and like a sword and a horse by my side. I think I'm on the verge of a quarter life crisis because I never know what I like. I'm constantly on the verge of tears. And so I thought, what better time to get rid of my wardrobe? As you can see, my room is an actual mess because I've just been really depressed and I haven't even like wanted to attempt to deal with all of this, but I'm kind of at my breaking point and I just feel like I never actually like what I wear. And so today, <sighs> I have a plan and that plan consists of one rule entirely and it's that if I put something on and I don't love it, it's out of here. I have just been feeling really depressed lately and I feel like it's kind of shown in my content because I just don't feel like myself and I don't know how to get that feeling back and so I've just been struggling and I have been not doing well, basically. I just feel like here is where I want to be and this is like what I want to wear and this is like the content I want to put out and like here is where I am. And it's spring, I need to declutter my life. I feel like just having all this stuff here is like weighing me down physically and mentally. So it's time to clear that shit up. So I think we're gonna start with the dresser, even though it is packed with a bunch of crap. For some reason, it just feels the most manageable to me right now, even though I have a feeling that will definitely change and I will end up crying. As much as I really don't wanna deal with this stuff, I feel like dealing with the stuff on top of the dresser should go first before I deep dive into the contents of my dresser. Um, I'm definitely not on the verge of tears. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Okay, so first up we have this baby tee, which I do love wearing as like a casual little t-shirt. And this OG BFF tee that says for the girls. People love to point out that FTG in France, I think they said means shut the F up. Um... But that's okay with me. I really don't care. Um, we're keeping it because I just got this in like November and it's just like a perfect fitting little baby tee. I did say that I would try stuff on. So in order to keep my promise, here's the black and red baby tee and the OG BFF shirt that definitely has like a stain on it right here, which I need to hand wash. So let's just ignore that. I'm really torn with this little plaid mini skirt. I did shorten it, so it is technically a little longer. I just gave it like a faux hem with safety pins to make it into like a micro mini. Um, but I just can't tell. Like I love the skirt, but when I wear it, does it feel like me? Which means it's time to try it on. The skirt is cute, but when I put it on, I feel like I can't tell if I like it or not, which to me means that like it's not and that I should probably get rid of it. This is going to go in the maybe pile for now. This is one of the only like basic black skirts I have, or at least like mini skirts. So for that reason alone, I'm going to keep it. Surprise, surprise. My cat is currently in here and she's crying. I think this has to go. Um, it's cute and I really do like how it's like one shoulder, but every time I wear it, I just don't feel like me. I kind of feel like a poser for like lack of a better word. So it's gone. Okay, I literally just bought this black lace skirt from Suki Suki Vintage. So this is staying. I also recently bought this Gil Rodriguez black bodysuit. Um, it is very stretchy and I don't own any bodysuits. I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about it just because I feel like I definitely should have sized up, but I'm gonna try to make it work. Also, I know I said that I would try everything on, but you guys see how many clothes I own. If I do that, we will literally be here all day and I'm trying to have time to go outside and enjoy the sunlight. I think this black skirt is a keep just because it's really basic and cute and it can go with so many things. I do really like this velvet paisley top and it is something that I reach for quite often, especially in autumn. So I think this is a keep. When people ask me how to describe my style, I honestly have no idea. Like the only words I can think of are like 
Y2K bohemian western kind of vibes. Like I love paisley and like earth tones but I love it to have like an early 2000s or like 90s twist to it. If that makes sense. I bought this top at Lost Girls Vintage in Chicago and I really just love like the golden iridescence kind of like magazine ad vibes it has going on. Like when I picked this up I literally thought in my head this reminds me of something Carrie Bradshaw would wear so obviously this is a key. I want this top to be me because it reminds me of Lorelai Gilmore but I have honestly never reached for this top except in like a couple styling TikToks. So for that reason, I think that's gonna be um, a donate or sell top because I just feel like if I look at it and I'm like, okay, I would really style this or like pick this up, then I shouldn't keep it in my wardrobe. This top I do really love. The only downside to it is that it is sheer but I've worn it before and I just have some like nipple petals on um, and it works fine so I'm keeping it because it's really cute and I just love the vibes it has going on. I have had this top for the longest time. I got it at Target. It's the Wild Fable brand like four years ago and honestly I think it's like very uncomfortable to wear now. Um, it just kind of squeezes my arms and the material bothers me and it's just not completely my style anymore so I think I'm getting rid of that. Um, I do also have this Snoopy top that I thrifted. Um, I thought it would be like a really cute baby tee that I would wear a lot but um, let's try it on. I do like this t-shirt. It's just a little tight in my arms and I just thought it would like kind of look different on me. Um, I don't know. It's cute, but I might sell it. And I do really love this t-shirt. Like I really wanted to love it. And when I got it, I was like, this is going to be such a cute little t-shirt to wear. But I've had this since like autumn and it's spring now and I haven't really worn it at all. And I think it's just because it's not super comfortable to wear for me. So that's why I got to get rid of it. My mom got me this shirt from Lisa Says Ga for Christmas. Um, I really liked it because it had like the pretzel boob things going on. So I, I can't get rid of this. I thrifted this short sleeve turtleneck a long time ago. And I liked it because it had this like abstract print on it and I thought it was really different and cute. Um, I literally never wore it until like maybe like a month ago and it was really cute. I think I just have a hard time styling like turtlenecks with short sleeves because I don't really like turtlenecks and I never know the weather to wear them in because my arms are like what get the coldest. Um, so this is a maybe, like, get rid of. I recently got this top at the thrift store because I liked that it had, like, a high neck. Um, I didn't button the back of it, so that might be why it looks a little bit more relaxed than it should be. Like, it should look like this. Um, and I also was kind of apprehensive because it is really similar to the color of my skin. Like, I know I'm really pale, but I usually don't like things like that. But I do like this lace, and part of me is wondering if I should like get rid of the lining and just have the lace top but I know that'll make it like really hard to style because I'll have to wear like a bandeau or like nipple covers or something under it but I'm gonna keep this because I do think it's really cute and it does give the vibes that like I want to give. I did recently get sent this from Minga London um, so I do want to keep it because I have been wearing it quite a bit. Yes, I did just throw that up on my bed. I literally just wore this dress last night for a date night with my boyfriend and then just tossed it up on my dresser because I was too lazy. My cat's doing something out there and I don't want to know what. Um, I was too lazy to actually put it away, but I did get this dress a few years ago at Ross. Um, and I do really love it. It is a really nice, comfortable... <laughs> No, you are not losing your mind and your phone is not broken. It was at this point where I realized that my phone was actually recording in slow motion. So let's skip ahead, shall we? I was basically showing off this top and the cool braided siding and I was really unsure of whether or not to get rid of it. And then this Save the Queen top that I spent like $90 on and I love it. So like obviously I'm keeping it. 
I do realize that if we don't want to be here all day, I am going to have to speed things up a little bit. So instead of like holding something up and trying it on and giving me an explanation as to why I'm keeping it or like not keeping it, I'm just going to like quickly try stuff on and say yes or no. I'm thinking this is a keep. I do really like this top and my friend thrifted it for me. So maybe that's why I've been having a hard time letting it go. But I just feel like it's not the most comfortable for me. Um, so I think it's gonna go. I thrifted this top last year and I did really love it when I got it, but I think I'm kind of over it now. So it's a donate. I do really love this top. So it's a keep. Keep. I really want to love this top because it's like cool. It's sparkly. It's got this cool like rose crochet detail. I do wish it was like more off the shoulder. Like you could completely see my shoulders, but I think I'm going to keep this and kind of see how much I wear it next autumn when it gets colder out. And if I don't really reach for it, then I'm going to like sell it or donate it. I do realize I said I wasn't going to give explanations and now I am giving explanations, but that's just the wishy-washy kind of bitch I am. Once again, my friend thrifted this for me. And while it is really cute and I do appreciate the sentiment, I do think that it's a sell slash donate. I'm really torn with this top. I do like it, but my beef with it is that it's like pretty long for a top, but not quite long enough for like a dress. Um, but it is extremely comfortable. And I do think it would be cute like this with like a black skirt underneath it, just to give my booty some protection with like knee high black boots, my hair up with like some curls coming down and like hoops. Um, so I'm gonna keep it, but if I don't wear it again by autumn when I clean out my closet next, then it's gone. When I thrifted this, my boyfriend thought it was so ugly, but it's disigual, and I just thought it was so cute, and I still really do love it. It's just kind of small on me and, like, tight in the arm, so I do, like, never really reach for it. Um, I also do think this kind of, like, asymmetrical neckline here is really cool. I'm really torn though. I do want to keep it, but then part of me is like, get rid of it, but I think I have to keep it. I think I have to force myself to just wear it a little bit more before uh, summer comes and it's like really hot out because I do really love this top, but I might have to sell it. I don't know. I am so indecisive. I bought this top on Depop and then not long after I found the exact same top in my mom's size at the thrift store. So I thought it was kismet, but I've honestly never worn this top and I know why it's because the arms are once again pretty uncomfortable. Like it is cute, but I don't know, I might have to sell it. I think this is a keep. This is an old rave top I thrifted, so obviously a keep. I really wanted to love this top because of like the bell sleeves and the embroidery, but this is a sell. I bought this top on Depop and on Depop, it looked like a more muted green. And I also thought that it would be more like skin tight, but it is like pretty stretchy. So like, I honestly just don't really ever see myself reaching for this. So it's a sell. Keep, sell, keep. This is one of my favorite baby tees that I have. It says, what have you done for me lately? So keep. I'm torn because this is an old wet seal top that I got on Vinted. And I do really love it, especially how it has like this one arm thing going on. But I was wearing this top when I fell and broke my fingers. So I do harbor some negative attitudes towards it. But honestly, it's like not the shirt's fault. So it's a keep. I was gonna donate this, but now that I've tried it on, it is like a pretty cute little casual top. So I think it's a keep. This is one of the most iconic shirts I own. Like, look at these horses. Um, so for that reason alone, I will never get rid of this. I have been contemplating whether or not I should sell this for the longest time. Like, I really love the neckline and there's like these little sequins on it. And this top just really reminds me of like the Lizzie McGuire movie for some reason. But I don't know, I just never ever wear it. And even though I think it looks cute on me, I think for that reason alone, it's a sell. Keep. I do love this top, but it's just the tiniest bit uncomfortable on me. And whenever I wear it, I just don't feel like me, even though I do really love this top. So it's a sell. This is the most adorable little penguin thermal with like a little bow 
which is perfect for layering in the winter, especially since I live in the Midwest currently and it gets really freaking cold. So it's a keep. Donate, keep, keep. I really can't tell with this top. I think it might be a keep because I think it'll look really cute with some like mid-rise jeans as like a casual top. Um, I think it's a keep. I think it's a keep. It gives me like whimsy goth vibes, kind of like 90s witchy vibes. So it's a keep. It's really hard for me to look at like winter and fall clothes right now because I am so sick of winter that I'm ready for warmer weather. So in my mind, I'm like on spring slash summer mode. So looking at this, I'm like, get rid of it. But I know that like once it's cooler out again, it'll be really cute to wear. I originally got this because I really liked the ruffles up here and I thought it'd be a cute like casual black top, but I think it's a sell. Cute. I've never even been to St. Thomas, but I'm keeping because I think this is a really cute and like comfy night shirt. I do like this IMG top, but my one issue with it is that I would need like boob tape or like something to tape this in place. Otherwise, one of my boobs like will pop out. So this is a like maybe sell pile. I also have this hood that I got on Depop like over a year ago, but I wanted it to be more of like a muted sage green color. So it's like a little bit more like minty green than I wanted it to be. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or if I'm gonna sell it. I almost feel like I'm wearing a helm. Like I should have a full pseudo armor and like a sword and a horse by my side. On to the bottoms. I got this skirt last year at a vintage store and at the time I thought it was really cute, but now I don't. So this is definitely a sell. Keep, 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 keep. I do really like this skirt, but it's just too small on me now. So for that, I'm gonna sell it. This skirt has the same issue. It's just too small so sell this is literally the same skirt as the dark brown skirt i showed but in black so i'm gonna keep it keep it's gotta go this is one of my favorite pair of pants because they're cargos they have a little flare it fits me like super comfortably mid-rise so keep keep when i first got this skirt i loved it especially because it has like this cool hardware here but it just doesn't fit me right I could zip it up if I tried, but I'm too lazy to. So this is a sell. When I first got this skirt, I really liked it, like so much so that I added these like little um, safety pin like details along the bottom, but I just never reach for it. So it's a sell. Keep. I can't tell what I'm gonna do with this skirt, but I might donate it. I just don't have the mental capacity right now to try on a bunch of pants that I know are gonna be too tight on me um, because I've just, I don't know, I've just been like a mess lately. I just feel like a ball of insecurity, not just about my body, but like my life, my career, my tastes, my passions. So for that reason, I think I'm done for the day. If it makes you guys feel any better about my rack, I do usually clean this out pretty thoroughly like every couple months. So I doubt there's a lot of stuff in here that I do want to get rid of, but I have just, I'm mentally, I'm mentally pooped. Over here is my donate pile, and then this stuff is my sell pile. I most definitely will get rid of more stuff off screen. I just feel so overwhelmed by the amount of crap I have that for me to do it all on camera would be at the detriment of my mental health. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I want to walk over to my fridge and crack open a cold one, which for me is a grape juice, honest kids juice pouch. In fact, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know I've been going through it mentally lately, um, but I really, I just don't know what to do. Um, I do feel slightly better now that I've cleaned some of the stuff out of my closet that I definitely don't want or like I don't wear, but I know I have quite a ways to go. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking through it with me. And hopefully next time I film a YouTube video in my bedroom, it will look a lot neater and a lot cleaner. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.